hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our php admin panel series so guys in previous video we have seen that how to make a login system in php and now guys in this video we are going to how to make the dashboard authenticated and secure so like right now i have logged in but you can still access the login page and i have logged in as a user but you can still access your admin dashboard so we are going to set up the authentication part with the rules and permission like a middleware so guys now let's get started let's get back to our code and we move to login code.php okay so i missed this code here also let me copy and paste okay in the previous video i missed this okay login page first here on this login page once you are logged in you cannot come back to the login page okay so let me just show you login.php so right now i will log in as admin and now i go back to the login page so here you see you can still access this login page right so you need to set that first user if condition and check with the is set function dollar underscore session of auth so once it is true we are going to tell redirect to the index dot php page okay and mention you are already logged in let's save and now guys let's get back if you refresh here you are redirecting back to the index.php file let me again do login you'll redirect back there okay so if you want to see the message also you can just add this code in your index.php to show your messages so refresh here you get you're already logged in so now guys let's get back and set up the authentication in admin dashboard let's go inside admin folder create a new file called authentication.php so let's open php close php and begin with the if condition and check it is set or not what you are going to check your session of auth whether you are logged in or not okay so if you are logged in you are coming in and telling that check with the again is set function session of so here you are going to check the role is set or not so let me just copy that roles okay logged in user role now guys let us create one variable called your role equal to dollar underscore session of logged in user let me validate this first with the validate function so here you pass and now guys we are going to use this file in the main header okay so it will be able to find that function so you do not need to worry and now guys let us copy the same and check for the user role of email so you can get here logged in user of email okay so you will validate this and get the email also and now write the query where you are going to verify select star from users where email equal to single quotes dollar email and again role equal to dollar role okay and this is limit will be one and now guys let's see the result for this result equal to with the help of mysqli underscore query function we are going to get the database connection first and then query so it executes it if it is true like if there is no error in the code it will come inside and you need to check with the help of mysqli number of rows function the result has at least one data okay i mean yes let us check here like if it is zero then redirect him back one step back and then go to login.php file and tell here 
access denied okay and let's log out the user once he is so let us create one function logout session so let us copy this and go to the function.php and create that a simple function okay let me just add here function the function name logout session so here you use unset function and dollar underscore session of the first auth then the second variable and third variable so my second variable is logged in user role and the third is logged in user so you can just copy that logged in user logged in user role and logged in user okay so three also is unset and now you can get back to your authentication.php if something goes wrong also you can paste here and tell something went wrong so this is a very rare case and if you are not authenticated then you are going back going back to login page so let's set here and tell him as login to continue okay let's save and now guys let us try to access the admin dashboard now so let me go to admin slash dashboard here so you are able to access why because you are an admin right now so let me just make a logout system first so we can log out it correctly okay inside the admin dashboard logout dot php open php close php and require the function config forward slash function dot php and check whether it is authenticated or not so if it is authenticated then obviously you are logged in so session of auth is set to true then you are logged in so what we can do use the logout session here and redirect back to which page login dot php file and mention the message logged out successfully so now guys let us get back and refresh so here i have already given the logout.php url let's click on that so it's telling fail to open no such file or oops it is not correctly linked so here you need to go one step back and then go to that file okay so refresh now and now let's click on logout it redirected back to login.php file it's logged out but i have not given the correct login path so for that guys you can just come back here and tell go one step back and then move to the login page okay so now guys i am going to log in as a user here user so let's copy this way that gmail.com one two three four five six hit enter and now i am going to try to access the admin dashboard slash admin so here i am able to access so why you need to add that authentication.php file in every file of your admin dashboard okay so guys we have already seen that in the each page we add a header.php file right so let's go inside that header.php file go to includes header.php file and at this below let's use the include function and here we'll tell authentication okay let's save get back to this dot php file so guys here we have written only that execute the query and result so if result is not found then redirect back so in the else condition if the result is found then what you have to do so let us create one row equal to with the help of mysqli underscore fetch array function inside that function you pass this and get the data in mysqli associate data okay 
and now guys here you need to get the role first role so this is my role okay if you need to check this role not equal to admin if the role is not equal to admin then what you are going to do you are just going to log out and tell that access denied okay so now let us save and now let's refresh here so here you see access denied and you are logged out so if you try to access again admin so you are telling login to continue the next message here it's telling that you are logged out and login to continue you are not authenticated so now guys i will log in as an admin admin at gmail.com one two three four five six and let's tell login here you see you are redirected and you are able to access the admin dashboard okay and now let me try to log in as a user so ved at gmail.com and one two three four five six so here the ved at gmail.com data is user role is user okay so login here you are logged in successfully and redirected on the index page i am going to access the admin dashboard access denied okay so now guys uh, one more step we need to check here like we have checked the admin but we need to also check whether you are banned or not so just add a if condition here let me copy this so if he is admin and he is also not banned so is ban double equal to true double equal to one so which means true if he is banned then you are going to log out and mention the message like your account has been banned please contact admin okay save it and again redirect him back Oops. so guys here we need to cut this and paste outside okay because if he is not admin then you are logging out so before that only or after that only you should also check the ban he is available or not okay so logged in user is banned or not so now let's get back refresh i am going to log in as the admin now login so i have logged in and let's log out and now let us change the ban so now let's try to log in here admin at gmail.com one two three four five six let's click on login so here you see your account has been banned please contact admin okay so change it now we'll refresh okay so let's log in as admin done so guys we have successfully learned how to make the authentication setup and also the middleware a role and permission and also the banning system in php okay so now guys in this video that's it and let's continue in further video about your um, services and how to display those services on the website okay so now guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share